Parkland Hospital touches everyone in Dallas. My husband suffered a 70% body burn and was taken to Parkland Hospital and over a period of 63 days was made whole. Our daughter had a 50% chance of survival. But the, the, the staff there, uh, the technology that Parkland has, the experience that they have, um, we have no doubt that that is, is why we brought our baby home, and we're, we're very grateful for that. It was two, over two years ago when Cecilia was blindsided at an intersection coming home from book club. I received a call from a chaplain at Parkland to, who said, you need to come to Parkland. Your wife is involved in a serious accident. <clears throat> I drove frantically to Parkland. On the way, I called a good friend of mine who's a very well-known surgeon and said, what should I do? Who should I call? Should I call in some world-famous person to, to help out even though I don't know what's happening? Uh, and he said, no, Cecilia is, has been taken the right place. She will be well taken care of. She's where she needs to be. Parkland will take care of her. And indeed, they did. If you're rooted in reality, you know that you never know what life is going to bring you. And if by chance fate should bring me a life-threatening illness or a life-threatening trauma, my standing request to my wife is get me to Parkland because I want to have the best possible chance to survive and have kids to raise. So you never know when you're going to need Parkland nor what role it'll play in your life. We as a medical community support a new Parkland. Uh, we as a medical community support uh, not only with our time, but also with our financial resources, building a new Parkland. I think a, a world-class and first-class city needs a first-class and world-class hospital and training institution. And we're striving to achieve that. Um, it'll be pretty evident, I think, over the next uh, decade that the decision to build uh, a bigger and better hospital to accommodate both patients, staff, and above all, uh, medical education will be essential in the well-being and the vitality of the city for years to come. To whom much is given, that's a cliche, but it's true. You, you, we have a duty, an obligation, and to do anything less is not acceptable. Now we have the opportunity to, with a relatively modest percentage of private funds take the good enough that tax dollars will pay for and help it be truly great, just like the caring hearts that we have on the staff at Parkland today. We now have a completely new vast arts center. The new Parkland is a very integral part of Dallas being one of the finest and best cities in the United States. This is an opportunity that may not come along for another 50, 60 years, and it's going to affect us now, but it's gonna affect generations to come, our children, our grandchildren, in making this city a better place. We gave to Parkland at the highest level because we wanted to draw attention to Parkland. Again, from my own personal experience, I saw that this was a real jewel in our community and was surprised that private money was not going to it. Um, so we wanted to say, you know, it's okay to, to give to a public entity uh, when it's, we want to reward excellence. We in Dallas want the best and it's going to take a private initiative along with the incredible public initiative to make Parkland Hospital the best it can ever be. That gift, that donation, that time that you can give uh, is, is what is, is saving lives and, and is what brought our daughter home to us. We are lucky in Dallas to have Parkland. I think everyone should stand for Parkland.